Okay, so this is my mid-2010 MacBook, or rather the insides of it. And uh, when I got this MacBook, it had a physical hard drive, uh, and it also had two gig of RAM, and uh, it was rather slow. So I upgraded to eight gig of RAM, which you can see in there, uh, and it's also got a solid state drive. And I've done a video on this uh, to show the performance of it, so I'll put a link in the description for that. But uh, the other day, I, I've, got, I've got a really old laptop, um, and I'll try and show a picture of it now, uh, which is a, an Advent laptop, which is incredibly slow, and it does run Windows 10, but it's not at all a pleasure to use. Uh, I've since got uh, Linux running on it, but I won't go into that. I tried to get Chromium running on it, which is Google's operating system uh, that they use on a Chromebook. And actually, for simple use, uh, it's such a light operating system that it runs really, really well. Uh, and in fact, I've got it to work on my Mac, and it, and it isn't difficult at all. Uh, but what I did was, rather than mess about with the SSD that's in there, uh, I looked to get a small 2.5-inch hard drive. And I found out, cheapest ones you can get, are uh, these Xbox hard drives. Now in CEX in the UK, you can get these, uh, and inside this would be a 20 gig hard drive, which is absolutely fine for Chromium OS, uh, and you can get that for 50p. Uh, this one is a 60 gig hard drive, uh, and they're two pound from CEX. And they've got loads of them. If you look on their app, uh, there's plenty of them available. And all you do to take them apart is take out these. You need a very small, uh, Allen key style screwdriver and the, this is available from the pound shop. Just take out these three bolts uh, and then you get access inside to a two and a half inch hard drive. Now the other one in the 20 gig one was a Seagate uh, and this one, I don't know what make this is because I haven't opened this up, although it does feel a bit loose so I'm wondering if someone else has, has opened it before. Yeah, this comes apart a lot easier than the, the other one did. I'm not worried about salvaging this because I've got two others of these and they're so cheap. Okay, so I'm in there now, had to pull that apart. Um, and then you need to pull this metal part out. Uh, I think it's screwed in. And so with that metal lid off, uh, you can see that there's an ordinary hard drive in here with an ordinary SATA uh, connection. And that just slides out. And so this drive is a Hitachi drive. Uh, there you go, there's the details on that. So I can pop that one in. Yeah, and it's got 60 written on it. Uh, so to get this out, the SSD, I need to undo these tiny little screws. And this actually comes with, so the caddy I use to use an external drive uh, is one of these Dynamo ones, and I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, it was only a, just over £10, and it came with this screwdriver, which has been handy for taking my Mac apart, uh, and also securing the hard disk in the caddy. Okay, and then this just levers out, and on the Mac, you can see there's a SATA there, and You've got these little screws, little Allen key bolts that go into the hard drive, so that's how it sits in really nicely. So four of those come out. And obviously this Chrome OS would run, run even better on an SSD uh, than it's gonna run on this old physical drive, 5400 RPM old physical drive. But it's surprising how well it still runs. So you can see those same bolts go into this new drive. Everything's all the same size. Okay, so that's the four bolts on there. Uh, so let's plug the SATA in. You see how neat MacBooks are. They're so nice to work inside of. Uh, I don't know about the new ones because I've not tried them, but I'm sure they're not as easy to work uh, with as these. Uh, so that goes in. That goes back on top. And then we've just got the two tiny little screws. There we go. That's all in. So that can go back on. I'm not going to bother securing all the, the screws and everything because they do. it does clip in somewhat he says so obviously now this Mac has got a hard drive in it uh, which uh, has got whatever Xbox software was on there from before um, so what we're going to do is I've put the Neverware software on this 16 gig USB stick uh, it says on their site try not to use SanDisk uh, for whatever reason it says that it doesn't tend to work uh, you need a minimum of 2 gig of RAM for this Chromium operating system uh, and 
what else did they say? There's certain processes. If you have a look on their site, there's certain processes they don't recommend, but it works brilliantly on this Mac. So you pop your USB stick in. Okay, so we boot up, and when we boot up, we press and hold the Alt key, uh, or the Option key, they call it. And what should happen is it will go into the Mac boot menu. There you go. All the instructions to create this USB key are on the Neverware website, and they're really easy, so I won't go through that. So this is all driven from the USB stick at the moment. Okay, so this is how the operating system looks, running from the USB key. And you can do this with no danger to your existing Mac operating system. Uh, and you can see a click on the side here, comes up with various options. Uh, if I click the up, you can see that it comes up with games and things like that. And if I wanted to play Cut the Rope, for instance, uh, I can click on there and you can see Play Now. And you can see here, Oh, that wasn't very good. Um, but uh, what I want to do is show you how to install it uh, rather than running from the USB stick onto the 60 gig hard disk that I put in there. So if we go on to here uh, and we get settings. There's an option here for install OS because it says device is low on space. So install OS, uh, install cloud ready, erase hard drive and install cloud ready. So this is going to install to the uh, 60 gig Hitachi drive that cost me two pound. So I've removed the USB stick uh, and the computer's restarting uh, and this is the 60 gig hard drive. The first install always takes quite a lot longer so don't worry that it seems to be really slow. Uh, obviously the time is wrong at the moment, I need to change that somehow. So I've got to connect into my Wi-Fi. That whole process took about seven and a half minutes so not the 20 minutes that they thought it was going to. So plugged in a mouse, the, the trackpad works fine, but it doesn't work as well as it works with the Mac, which is understandable. Um, but you can see that you just have to press a bit harder for some reason. So initially Chromium will always check for updates. Uh, now it wants me to sign in. Okay, so here's the Chrome OS and how it looks. Uh, you can access your apps by pressing this one on the left, uh, and then you can expand to see what you've got on there. I've got a few games and various things. Uh, which I've had in my normal Chrome browser. So that works on Windows devices and Apple devices, but obviously this is just the Chrome browser. Um, so if I, uh, I just want to address that the time's wrong. Um, so if I go into settings, uh, and you've got to scroll all the way down to advanced, and let's go, yeah, it's on auto, but it's not picking up the right time that's here. So, oh, there we go. So we've got British summertime London here. So now we're on the right time. Let's go back in and let's have a look around. So you can see, you can actually pin what you want down here. Uh, and if I call up, say for instance, I call up cut the rope. Uh, I think if I right click it, yeah, pin to shelf. So you can see cut the rope has gone down to there. Um, and uh, files is already there. And you could put settings on there if you use it a lot. So this is the web browser. So this is Chromium. Uh, and let's open up a few tabs. So let's go Hot UK Deals, open up a tab. Uh, go to eBay, open up a tab. Yahoo News, open up a tab. And what else have I got here? Uh, YouTube. There you go. So I've got four tabs open now. Hot UK Deals, you can see I can flick through that and it's loaded up pretty quickly. Uh, just agree to the license. eBay, well, let's do a search just to show it's all working. And you can see, nice and fast. Again, this is a 2010 MacBook uh, running super quick. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'll just say OK. Uh, and let's go Sport. And let's also open up YouTube. Uh, and let's go, let's find something. There you go, that'll be nice quality video. So we go into settings, you can see that I've got various different options there. This is only a 768 display, so there's no point in going over to 720, but let's go for 1080 uh, and let's go full screen because 1080 actually doesn't work very well on this MacBook uh, from YouTube. So we see his lips moving. He's showing the device all the time. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. And the lip sync is all in time and everything, so that works really well. Um, and that's running on 1080. As I said, there's no point in going 1080. 
you might as well be on 720 on this particular screen uh, and that looks pretty much the same so whilst that's playing let's browse through the sport on Yahoo you can see that it's still pretty fast for an old computer uh, and then back to eBay to see those results and if we click on a bike there you go and we can see that it that it works nice and quickly with all the pictures scrolling through fine in fact let's do a Google Images search uh, and here you can see I can tap on that tab and let's just pause that because that's distracting in the background but you can see that it was running fine okay so if we go to images here uh, you can see all the images come up if we click on one and we start flicking through Oh, clicked on the wrong thing. But you can see that it's not struggling at all. Yeah, that is, it is good. It's perfectly usable. So you could look at this as a way of repurposing a Mac. Uh, if you say you've updated your Mac and you've got an old one and you want to give it to someone else, um, then if they're not used to Mac OS, uh, and obviously it's not officially supported anymore on, on a device this old, um, then you could put Chrome OS on it and they've got uh, probably a quite a trouble-free system that's very basic, very easy to understand because it is just a Chrome browser. Uh, but you do have all these extensions as well. So if you want to install various things onto it, you can go to the web store and you can search for things so like I've been looking for games uh, and you can play some casual games on it and cut the rope I've installed and that works absolutely fine on here. If I click on that, just to show you how quick, and again with all these tabs open at the same time. And uh, I would say that I'm not, this Mac isn't going to be used on Chrome OS. I've ordered a Chromebook, I've ordered a Chromebook R11, which is one of the ones that supports the Android apps, just to play around with really. I feel I need to know a bit more about Chrome OS. Uh, certainly after trying this, I've been so impressed by it um, that I want to see more about the operating system. So you can see all of this is running absolutely fine. I mean, obviously it's a basic game, but it's running absolutely fine. If I go back to the store um, and see, I mean, I don't know what most of these games are, but say it was Pong. Let's not go too ambitious on a game. Uh, and then you're looking for Add to Chrome, Add App. And let's close down some of these. We don't need all these open. Uh, So it's already done. So launch app. That canvas rider's good. It's not mouse controlled. So it's um it's using the ordinary cursor keys. Okay, so we can see what that's all about. Let's also let's just close that down and go back to my settings and show you a bit of this canvas rider, which is just brilliant. Um, as a game, oh, zoom in, hit escape, hit return, and then you're pressing up to go forward, and you're using the the left and right to to wheelie to bring the front end up or down. Oh, where am I going? Anyway, you can see that that works nicely on there anyway. This works on a, um, a Chrome browser or on any device. So this works on my MacBook and it works on a Windows device as well. So that's not anything different. It's more a case of this operating system because it's so basic, because there's not an awful lot going on, is lovely and snappy. Uh, and things really do run at really quite a nice rate. Oh, I've got to sign in so I won't bother doing that. Okay, so that's Chromium OS, which is from Neverware, uh, and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so you can run it straight from the USB, but obviously you're not going to get as good a performance from that. Uh, but remember that this is running off a, a hard drive that cost me £2 that came uh, from CEX from an old Xbox 360. Uh, and it still feels really quite fast and quite snappy. Uh, it's, it's nice to use. Um, so it's just another option and just shows how great these MacBooks are um, because it, with Mac OS this still runs really really fast uh, and I'll probably do a video with it running Windows 10 as well if anybody's interested um, because it, it runs Windows 10 pretty well the only thing about Windows 10 is is just the constant updates which Chrome OS and Mac OS don't bug you with anyway thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe